Hi everybody, Happy New Year's. First video of 2023 with Miss Bella, my 13 year old Bijan that I've been home cooking for since she was five months old. And I'm gonna do an egg video again. I've done a lot of egg videos, but I'm gonna to talk to you about stuff. Stuff that I, I just wanna get off my chest or stuff, whatever. So join in with me. So the first thing I wanna say Eggs are expensive. I just went to Food Lion today and it was $7 a dozen for eggs. Now, I want to say I am really very fortunate because I live up here. There's farms all over the place. And literally just last week, I found a farm that's less than a mile and a half from my door. And I went to visit them. They just started this farm a year and a half ago. They retired from Manassas, Virginia, and I bought a dozen pasture-raised, soy-free, non-GMO eggs for $5. So that's where I'm gonna be getting my eggs pretty soon, or from now on. Um, I really should do a, 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 a newsletter for you about the different types of eggs so you can learn the quality of the eggs. But the eggs that you're buying in the store, the bad quality, are going for more than what I'm paying right now for pasture raised eggs. Here, let me show you for a okay, second. Look at these eggs. I just cracked them. This is a pound of eggs, and three of them are my pasture raised, non GMO, soy free eggs, and the rest are from Costco. They're just conventional eggs. Can you tell which ones are the pasture raised eggs? I don't know if you can tell in this lighting, but these two. Here, let me get my spoon. These two right here are pasture raised and there's one hiding on the bottom. How do we know that? Actually, that one, these, these are all pasture raised. Well, how do we know this? Well, just by the appearance of it, you can see that the ones that are pasture raised are a more brighter color. Just like you're supposed to eat the colors of the rainbow, color, um, Color matters when it comes to eggs. They're more richer, they have more nutrition in them. You know, these chickens, they roam free and they can forage all over the place, uh, the, the worms and the bugs and they get sunlight. A happy chicken is a healthy chicken. But I am gonna do a newsletter on the different types of eggs to Egg, educate you instead of educate you about eggs. Give me some time. If you don't, uh, if you don't subscribe to my newsletter, give me your email and I'll give it to you. All right, let's get cooking. And I'm going to talk to you. Okay, so I'm going to pour these eggs. I don't remember how many they were. It was probably ten or eleven eggs. You need to weigh them. It's very important for you to weigh your protein because. If you're new to my channel, if you home cook, you have to add a calcium and it's based on the amount of animal protein that you put in uh, the recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook this on a, a medium uh, heat. You don't wanna, I'm gonna use garlic here. You don't wanna use um, high heat. Look at that, gotta use garlic. Can you see that? You don't want to use high heat because uh, you kill all the nutrients, all right? <clears throat> and yes, I use garlic in all of my recipes uh, because it's a natural uh, antibiotic, it's antifungal, antiviral. Uh, it's great. Bella does not get flea or tick medicine because I give her garlic and she's been having garlic since she was like one years old. Now, while this is cooking, I wanna show you something that I'm really pissed off at. I don't normally use this pan because I don't like it, it doesn't have a, a big handle. I bought this pan, uh, I need to move back so you can see me. Hold on a second. I bought this pan in November, okay, specifically to cook for Bella. And my son, he's 30 years old, he was here at Christmas, and I've been telling him this for years, but I've had it now. Uh, 
and he was cooking with this. And I told him, don't scratch my pan. And he was using a fork and a knife. He says, I'm not scratching it. So I went to set everything up this morning to home cook for Bella. And I don't know if you can see it. I actually have pictures in my Instagram. Can you see the scratches? I don't know if you really can see it, but there are definitely scratches. You should follow me on my Instagram. I do a lot of stories. Definitely scratches in this Teflon coating. You don't want to use a pan, a Teflon pan, if it's been scratched and you can see the metal, and I can see the metal here, because um, when you heat the pan up, it's going to uh, admit uh, toxic chemicals. And studies have been shown that people that have that have um, birds in the house, their birds have died because of the toxic chemicals that were admitted from uh, the scratched Teflon. And look, I've tried the ceramic pans. I've tried the green pan. And I've said on here, they're great. <laughs> That's when I first got them. And then after three uses, they're not great. Even when I put butter in the pan, you know, my eggs are sticking. I just got rid of that pan. And I told my son that I'm buying another pan, which I just ordered $34. He said he would pay for it. And I told him the next time he comes up in future times that he needs to bring his own pan. Yeah, I'm that type of a mother. I'm that serious. And he said, I refuse to bring my own pan. Let me use that. Well, if he wants to use that one, his life. But uh, we're going to have a window open. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm really riled up today because I live in a beautiful community. There's 4,000 homes and there's very few empty lots here. There's actually two empty lots on my street and nobody has bought it the 16 years that I've been here because it's such a bad lot. I mean, it's just like a goes down like crazy. Well, this morning, I heard some chainsaws and there's a bulldozer there and guys with four chainsaws and they're gonna be building a house there. This is where I sit outside on my porch. You know, I do Instagram stories, how beautiful it is. It was so bad today that I actually wore my headphones that I blow my leaves with. Cause you know, I'm older, I gotta protect my ears. And it was so, it smelled so bad from the four gas um, chainsaws that we came inside. So hopefully it's gonna go quickly. Okay, back to this. So my eggs are almost done. I'm actually gonna uh, do two batches of this. This is the one I'm gonna share with you. I have, it's, it's this January 3rd, and I have not cooked for Bella since around December 17th because I didn't wanna cook over the holidays. I wanted to, <laughs> cook for the humans. <laughs> I never stop cooking. I love cooking. It's okay, but to do both is a lot. So anyway, I'm back to cooking. I have no more reserves of eggs in my freezer downstairs. So I'm going to make two batches right now. So, sorry, I'm a little out of breath. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move you over to the other side of the counter so you can see what I'm doing after this. Okay. Okay, we're back. So I have two food processors here. I have the big mama and I have the little baby. You don't have to use the little one, but I like to mix some of my stuff up in the little one. Let me show you how big it is. Oh, don't get the sardines yet. Compare it to Bella's head. Honestly, I don't know how much this is. I think it's like a, a, a four cup maybe? One or two cup, I don't know. Anyway, in here, I have the beef heart. By the way, I wanna first say something. Look, just, just watch along and enjoy this. If you want the recipe, I have this recipe in my newsletter. So you can, if you're not a subscriber yet, uh, give me your email and I'll send it to you. And you can follow along just now for the visual learning of it. Some people like to read, some people like to look, and I'm trying to catch all people to, to tell everybody how to home cook. So anyway, getting back to this, 
In here, I have some parsley, beef heart, beef liver, blueberries, mussels, and I'm going to put uh, two sardines in here. And let me give Miss Bella some because she just loves sardines. Okay, and I'm going to mix this all up. The reason I use the baby food processor, I feel that it mixes it, you know, really grinds it up. So I want this to be evenly dispersed throughout the recipe. All right, and I may just add a little water just to loosen it up a little. Lucy goosey Oh, oh, oh don't get the knife, Bella. All right. All right, so we'll put that to the side right now. So in my big food processor, which you can't see, this is at least a 12 cup food processor. If you're gonna buy a food processor, you wanna get at least a 12 cup. Otherwise, you're gonna be wasting, excuse me, wasting your time. So in here, I have the eggs, and I'm going to put in asparagus, broccoli, cauliflower, butternut squash, and a little bit of spinach. Now, if you get my newsletter, I, um, no, was that on the newsletter? I don't know if it was on the newsletter. No, it was in my Instagram post. You have to follow me on Instagram. Um, I talk how spinach and turmeric are high oxalate foods. I'm just cutting up this uh, cauliflower. So what does high oxalate foods mean for your dog? It means that your dogs can get kidney stones if they have too many high oxalate foods. So I only use spinach in a minimal rotation. And I, I really never use it in my eggs since she gets eggs every morning. But this was such a little amount of spinach that it's fine. So spinach and turmeric. Turmeric, everybody's talking about how great it is. Don't believe what everybody says. There's a definite dark side to turmeric. Turmeric, turmeric, whatever the heck you want to call it. Now, if you home cook people, and this was, I just posted a, a publication on my newsletter about if you home cook, you must use calcium. If you don't use calcium, you are going to cause a lot of health problems in your dog, okay? From puppies, especially puppies, to uh, nursing mamas, to old dogs, you have to add uh, calcium. And let me just say something, because this has come up a few times. Some of my followers, they home cook and they raw feed. They buy the raw meat and they just call it a day. I'm not a raw feeder, I don't believe in it. Anyway, the raw meat has bone in it, okay? The bone acts as the calcium, all right? So what these people are doing is they're lightly cooking the raw meat, so it's not raw anymore, and it has the bone in it, and dogs should not be having raw bones, I'm sorry, dogs should not be having cooked bones for many, many different reasons. And then they're adding calcium because they think they're cooking the food. You double the calcium. The calcium is already in the raw meat, right? So you don't wanna do that, okay? Don't just jump into home cooking. You need to know the rules, yes. And I'm, I'm here, I do one-on-one -on -one phone calls I can get a lot done in one consultation. You don't need to come back for another consultation because then I take emails after, okay? Yeah, and we can learn how to home cook. So if you're home cooking, you gotta use a calcium. And I'll put a link in this uh, video and comments of this calcium. I've been using Animal Essentials for 13 years. It now comes in a rice bag. I, I keep it in this old container because I don't really like the rice bag. Now, one teaspoon. And it's, it has the, the directions right on here. For each uh, pound of animal protein, you put in a teaspoon of calcium. And that's why it's very important that you weigh 
your protein out. You need to get a scale if you're gonna home cook. And then I'm gonna put a teaspoon of Cut the Kibble Omega Booster. It's sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, flax seeds. Uh, is there something else in here? I think, gosh, I don't remember. Sun, I don't know. I think all this stuff you can get in the newsletter. All right, so anyway, that is it, people. That's all there is. Oh, I got to put this in. I forgot. I, that's, it. that's all it is, and I need to add this to it. So I was going to tell you, um, I basically can home cook for Bella, and it's like $60 a month. She eats twice a day, uh, a half a cup twice a day. Is that a half a cup? Wait a minute. I haven't cooked for her in a few weeks. She gets four ounces, four and four, so she gets a cup twice a day for like $60. That's really great. But I do shop around. Like I was at a Food Line, that's our local grocery store. And last week they had fresh asparagus. Can you, you can't see what I'm doing. They had fresh asparagus for $1.49 a pound. Yowza. So I got two pounds, brought them home, and I roasted them. I never, ever boil vegetables. Don't do that. You're, you're dumping all the vitamins and minerals in the water. You want to lightly cook them, and I, I roasted until they're just ever so cooked. And then I freeze them in two ounce or three ounce um, measure. And then, I'll, you know, I have when I'm ready to to home cook, I could just pull that out of the freezer. Anyway, you gotta sh sh uh, you gotta shop smart. Yeah, what are you looking at? You know, if you go to the store and there's turkey on sale, like they had ground turkey on sale for like four forty nine a pound today. Uh, there was the uh, Shady Brook and Nature's Best, I think it is. And I was looking, Nature's Best has its turkey and rosemary. And Shady Book has turkey and natural flavors. I would take the rosemary over the natural flavors because there's nothing natural about natural flavors. It can have up to 200 chemicals in it, okay, to make it that nice, tasty flavor. It's hard to get just turkey. If you want to give your dog just turkey with nothing in it, you need to buy a whole turkey or a turkey breast or a turkey breast and thighs and, and cook it up. I haven't done that. But be wary that rosemary, dogs that are susceptible to seizures, the rosemary can bring it on. So you have to weigh which is better for your dog. Each dog is different. They all have different uh, considerations to take into place. All right, so I'm done now. All I'm gonna do is uh, mix this up, and I'm not gonna show you the rest. You can look at my other videos. And I put it, I measure it out four ounces on a big sheet pan, and I put it in the freezer so that each patty is hard. Once it's hard, I'll dump it in a freezer bag and I'll label it eggs and the, and the date and that's it. It's that easy. I can help you. If you wanna learn how to home cook, you can schedule a consult with me. I've been home cooking for 13 years. You could uh, look on my Instagram at Cut the Kibble and my newsletter. Again, if you want my newsletter, uh, let me know and I'll give you the email. All right, I will talk to you later. Happy cooking from Miss Bella and me and happy 2023.